the two ways I use to check the conditioner, I use the aqua check seven way test strip, and I also use a Taylor complete high. I'll show you how to do both tests. And so it's important to note that most of the sanitizers that you buy in your pool store have conditioner as part of the stabilizer. These trichlor tablets are about half conditioner and half trichlor. The Cal Hypo and Liquid Chlorine don't have any conditioner in that as a product. But anything with trichlor in it or dichlor will have conditioner as part of the stabilizer of the chemical. And the aqua check is very easy. You just dip it in the pool and pull it out. Take the aqua check strip and line it up here. And you can see the conditioner is ideal. It's 30 to 50, which is good. That's where you want it. Taylor test is a little different. I'll show you how to do that right now. We're going to rinse and fill this bottle to the 7 milliliter mark. Okay, that's right about the mark here. Add R13 to the 14 milliliter mark on the bottle. Fill that up. We're going to put the cap on and we're going to shake it for about 30 seconds. And now we're going to take this tube here. You can see that this one on the chlorine side has a black dot on the bottom. When read from the top, you can see the black dot. So we're going to fill it up. I'm going to slowly squeeze it in here until the black dot disappears. That'll give you the reading. Okay, that's about right there. I don't see the black dot anymore, so let me see what the conditioner reading here is. Okay, so you take this, you turn it around, and on the back is the cyanuric acid level. You can see that it filled it up to about almost 55, almost a 60 mark, 50 or 60 mark here. So that's your reading for your conditioner level. You can see that the black dot is covered here on the top. As so you can see, it gave basically the same reading that the AquaCheck strip gave. The aqua check strip is more of a ballpark reading, but you can tell, you can see that from the Taylor kit, it's very similar in the reading of conditioner. And these are the best testing methods for the scenario gas. So that's the ideal range for this pool for conditioner. You don't want to add too much. I took over that has a really high conditioner level. I'm in the process of lowering it down. I'll show you the level here. So it looks like it's a little bit over 150 here according to the AquaCheck strip. So it's a little bit on the high side. And of course with that much conditioner the chlorine should be held pretty good in the pool. So go to Cal Hypo or Liquid Chlorine. These don't have conditioner in them. And stay away from the trichlor tablets or any kind of shock that has conditioner as an active ingredient. And that should really help in lowering the conditioner level down in your pool. So I'm going to let normal evaporation take care of this one. Hopefully by not putting the trichlor tablets in this pool and going with just liquid and Cal Hypo, I can lower the conditioner level down without draining the pool down. Salt water pool. I'll show you the conditioner level in a typical salt water pool system. So I'm going to check the conditioner level in the salt water pool here and show you typically what a salt water pool is like. I'm going to use the AquaCheck and the Taylor test kit to test the conditioner here at the salt pool. And I like to use both that way I get a good reading and I have something to base it on. You can see the conditioner level here is a little bit low. In a salt water pool, there's nothing actually going in the pool that would raise the conditioner levels. So you have to add it manually, either with liquid conditioner or with the granular cyanuric acid. So it's a little bit on the low side. I think it's a little below 30. And let's see what the Taylor kit shows. So again, you're going to fill to the 7 milliliter line and then you're going to add the reed to the 14 milliliter line. Put the cap on and shake it for about 30 seconds. And since I did a test earlier, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this file out a little bit. And again, there's the black dot on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and fill it slowly. 
so I can't see it anymore. Okay, so I filled it so you can't see the black dot anymore, and it looks like it's showing about 40 parts per million of condition. So the test strip is pretty close, it was showing around 30. You can see in a salt water condition, the, nothing is being added to the pool to raise the conditioner. There's no trichlor tablets or dichlor being added. So it's going to rise low because the salt system, of course, doesn't put any conditioner in the water. And that just shows you that the sanitizer has a lot to do with your conditioner level in your pool.